Hey guys, welcome back to the Circleville YouTube channel. I have some more Harbor Freight coupons for you, and this coupon email is actually pretty small, but had a ton of really good coupons on it, and some first-time, never-before-seen coupons. So we're going to go through that and show you what the best deals there were. And then I have a couple of deals to show you from my website. They're both DeWalt deals. One's really good. You can get up to 20% off already discounted prices on Amazon, but there are some stipulations and it's not, it's for certain tools. So we'll go through that. And I also think it's kind of convoluted the way that they are marking it down. Uh, it comes out right. It's just kind of weird, or at least the way my mind processes it. I feel like it's a weird way to do it. Anyway, we're going to take a look at it, but let's get through these Harbor Freight coupons first. So first we're looking at the Bowers. We have the Impact Wrench, and there is another coupon right here. We have another coupon for the same price. The Drain Cleaner, it's the only coupon available, but it's always that price. And the Drywall Screw Gun, it's the only coupon available. It's always the same price. And take note, these are only good till the 23rd. They came out yesterday. They're only going to be good for four days. Um, so that kind of sucks, but I will put a post on my website and then the links to the deals that we're going to talk about later will all be down below. If you're on the email list on my website, struggleville.net, you're already getting this email process sending out to you. And they're also on the new coupon page if you have the app, the Struggleville Deals app. So, uh, the 50 foot Diablo, it's the only coupon available. It's always the same price. The retractable one here in the middle, it's the only coupon available. And it's always the same price. And the heavy duty one, it's the only coupon available and always the same price. The 65 Lumens Light, we have another coupon available at the same price. Um, the 220 Lumens, it's the only coupon, and the last coupon that we had on it was the same price. We don't have too many to compare there, but I do like that that one is rechargeable. I much prefer the rechargeable ones to the ones that just take AAA batteries because, I don't know, it's more convenient to me. 120 uh, Lumen Flashlight, it's the only coupon available, and the last coupon was the same price. Onto the Banks Nailers. They keep slowly adding more and more nailers, so it seems like eventually they are going to have a full line. Um, but for the 18 gauge, it's the only coupon available, and it's always the same price. Uh, it goes for all three of these. Um, framing nailer only coupon, always same. Roofing nailer only coupon, always the same price. This one, there's I think only one other coupon, but it was the same price. Now, here we're on to new items that we've never seen before. And we're actually, I'm going to take a detour here for a second because the infrared laser thermometer is $19.99 with coupon, but regularly $24.99. And I wanted to look up on the Harbor Freight website because I can't remember the brand name of the other one. I have it somewhere. But I think the regular price on that one was like $27 or something. So it's even, the old one's more expensive and I'm... I don't know. This is you are not going to have three tiers of product for this item. Like the roofing nail guns, they have the banks of the new upper line, or you know the the Daytonas for the Jacks and the Pittsburghs were the old ones. So I guess they're going to phase out the old model of this or the old brand name. But I just wanted to take a look at it on the website real quick. So let's pull that up for the giggles of it. Looks like Harbor Freight's already removed the Centec old version from their website. I tried typing in the item number. I tried typing in infrared, and the new one's the only one that comes up. When I was in store last week, I know 100% I saw this thing on an end cap. Uh, if they removed it from the website and they're coming out with the Ames brand, I would imagine it's going to go on clearance and that you will be able to get it cheaper. And it's not one of those things where I think you need like the high quality and low quality. I mean, it either works or it doesn't. But I checked out my website real quick, and... Oh, that's not the right page. There we go. Um, we just had a coupon that ex expired a little over a month ago, two months ago, and it was coupon price was seventeen ninety nine. The regular price was twenty eight ninety nine. So, something to keep an eye out uh, if you're interested in the infrared thermometer. You might want to check in store and see if they clearance these things out or if they get any cheaper. Um, so yeah, I guess they're getting rid of those. Next thing, uh, and that was the only coupon we have on that because that's a new item. The non-contact, i got to find my spot. The non -con All three of these are new, so it doesn't really matter. Non-contact voltage tester is $449. I posted one on my website as a deal that was through Amazon, and it was a couple of days ago, so maybe it's not available anymore, but if you want to scroll through a couple of pages, you might be able to find it. Uh, it was about the same price. I think it was 5 something but it also had a built-in LED flashlight. And I'm assuming it's the same light that tells you if the voltage is on or whatever. Maybe there's a second light hidden in there. Whatever. But it also had a flashlight, which I think kind of makes it even more uh, useful and 
and a little better item. The last thing we have is the 100 foot laser distance meter. And again, that's a new coupon for $29.99. Again, I posted something on my website. I don't think, I don't know if it went 100 feet, but it was General Tools brand and it was a tape measure that had like a 16 foot physical tape and then it also had the built in laser measure. And so here's the General Tools one that was on my website and you can see over here. Sorry, I got it all messed up because Amazon puts your fucking address and everything all over the page. Um, it was 1420 when I posted it. Now it's up to 1730, but it's got the 50 foot laser and a 16 foot standard tape, which I don't know. I think is kind of cool. And for even at 1730, it's a better deal than paying $30. I mean, look at the regular price. It can be $40 on that thing. I know this other one's only 50 feet, but damn, how, how many times are you using 51 to a hundred feet? If you're not doing it twice as much, then it's not worth getting that one. So, anyway, that's that. So, uh, TV Walmart, where am I? The TV Walmart, we have another coupon for the same price. The McGraw, we have another coupon for the same price. The LED work light, that's the only coupon currently available. So far, it's always been $4.99. The 10 pack of nitrile gloves, it's the only coupon available. The last coupon was the same price. The USB charger, it's the only coupon available. The last coupon was the same price. And the Warrior cordless, it's the only coupon available. We had a coupon in the past that was for $27.99, so it was a little bit cheaper. But the regular price used to be $29.99, and then you could use a 20% off coupon, so you took $6 off. So they're uh, raising the price on that one, like everything else. Which, by the way, side tangent, tangent, which might become a full video down the road. I, every time I mention that the price is going up, people say, ah, it's Trump's tariffs. Yeah, I don't think so. But even if it is, um, you know, I, I get a very small uh, view into like international trade window by being an eBay seller. And I think that sounds stupid to most people. But the thing is... It is an international platform, and it is almost impossible for me to sell anything to another country because every other country that I sell something to, that buyer has to pay import taxes and import fees. So I can sell an item for $10 to Australia. The person's going to pay $30 to get it shipped for them, and then it's going to have another $20 in taxes to it. And it makes it completely impossible for me to compete with people from other countries that aren't having to pay that, other sellers. So another example is like a Chinese seller. I have bought stuff, and it was more <laughs> for giggles than anything. I bought valve stem caps, chrome valve stem caps. They were $0.97 cents in free shipping from China. So taking out the eBay fees, taking out the shipping cost, they still made enough profit that they figured it was worth their time to ship that to me. I could not ship an item to my neighbor for 97 cents. Even just me to my next door neighbor, the best I can do is $2.86. So there's no, there's just no way to compete with the Chinese seller. So, you know, if it causes prices to go up, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not worried about it because it's better for American businesses because it's not a fair platform. And people can hate Trump for whatever reason they want, but he's right on that. But, you know, people just hate him to hate him, so no one's going to agree. But whatever. I'm not trying to be political. I'm trying to be uh, objective about the trade stuff, and I don't think this is the reason, actually, at all. I think what's happening is they they throw spaghetti at the wall and price these damn things, and then they realize, hey, people are buying the shit out of this product. We could charge more and sell just as many. Because the price changes always come, or usually the biggest swings come with the new items. Like, look at the toolboxes. We start out with coupons for the five drawer mechanics at 149 and we're up all the way up to 189 Now, when they priced that item, they decided that they were making enough profit to make it worth their time that they could sell that item for $149. But because of supply and demand, now they have decided to make it 189 They're certainly not paying more in material cost, and any kind of tariff is... A small percentage. We're not talking about 50% or something. So they're raising it due to supply and demand. 
but it's just annoying to a consumer who can look it back and look at the prices that it used to be for the exact same product. And it's like, oh, great, now I get to pay $40 more for the same goddamn thing that other people are paying for. So anyway, all right, let's get on to these deals. So this is the Amazon DeWalt cordless tool deal that we're going to actually get back to in one second. The only other one I wanted to show you was this DeWalt 20-volt max lithium-ion cordless brushless 3-speed quarter-inch impact driver. It's 50% off of the regular retail price. Home Depot sells it for $112.15. Amazon has it for $112.15. Uh, Amazon's either price matching Home Depot, which I doubt, or they're at their minimum uh, map price, so I don't know. Uh, the one thing about eBay, when you always see these things cheaper on eBay, is... Essentially, what I'm assuming is that the eBay sellers are not adhering to map prices or maybe they just don't have a map price contract because for whatever reason. But eBay is typically a place where when things are discounted, you can get them even cheaper on eBay because they are not following uh, said rules. So free shipping and seventy three forty nine. So you're saving yourself quite a bit of change by going through eBay there. So the other deal now, Amazon. Get an additional 20% off already reduced cordless tools. Expires 9.30. And we're going to go to the page here in a second. So if we look at the wording of the DLC, it's wrong here. It says 10% off three items, but that's not exactly correct. Until September 20th, when you purchase two DeWalt Bear tools, receive 10% off. When you purchase three select DeWalt Bear tools, receive 20% off when the item is shipped and sold by Amazon. So here I have them uh, priced cheapest to most expensive. So we'll just add three random items to the cart. And now let's go check out what it looks like. So we have the three DeWalt tools here and have the order summary. I have to ignore the courtesy credit. They gave me $20 off. Because I bought that exhaust I told you guys about a month ago. And then they sent me one for the wrong vehicle. So I returned it. And I did a live chat with them and said. But I still want the exhaust. I just want the one that was on the listing. The correct one that I purchased. And I want it. But the one they sold me was much cheaper than the current price. And since there was a price difference. They wouldn't give me the new one. I'm like oh, that's messed up man. So they gave me $20 as a consolation. But. I still, keep your damn $20, give me the exhaust I bought. Anyways, so I got this courtesy credit, which is throwing things off a little bit. But you see the total, and what they're doing is just taking 10% off the total. Since I have three items in the cart, we're taking 20% off. So they're taking 10% off twice, and uh, that's how you get to your price. But if I remove one of these... So now with only two items in the cart, we see that now there's only one line taking off the 10%. So... I think it's a really good deal if you're looking to get into a DeWalt platform of cordless tools or if you want to expand your current selection, uh, that is a pretty good do deal to get in on. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Give the video a like, and I will see you next time.